did in the first. Oh yeah, what's up guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, we're talking about indie games. In particular, Nintendo's Indie World Showcase. They showed off some amazing new games that are coming down the pipeline for Switch, obviously, and PC in some cases. And all in all, they showed 19 games. However, in this video, we want to talk about the five top games, according to us, and that's according to me and my co-writer, Diego. What are the five best games that came out of the Indie World Showcase for Nintendo Switch? All right, guys, in no particular order, let's take a look at them. The first game is Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's a Switch exclusive, and it's going to be releasing sometime this year. Basically, Team Reptile is bringing a futuristic world full of charm skateboards and graffiti, and yeah, you're going to be dodging the law. That's kind of how they describe it, but here's the thing. It's basically a killer cell shaded looking game that's based on Sega's Jet Set Radio. If you played Jet Set Radio in the past, you know exactly what you're looking at. You know exactly what this is inspired by. And yeah, it looks pretty damn good. You're going to go around doing tricks, getting away from the law, spray painting things, doing some graffiti, hanging with your friends. Looks like a great game, guys. Definitely one to keep your eye on. Second game is Tome, T-O-E-M. Yeah, it's a, I don't know if I said that right. But in this game, basically, you look for unique characters, and more importantly, you become a photographer. That's right, for all of you photographer types out there. And I'm not talking about you guys that have an iPhone camera and think you're a photographer, because <laughs> you're probably not, because I'm not either. But uh, for all of you photographer types and you uh, lensy types, this game looks pretty darn cool. It's hand-drawn, and it was originally released for the PC earlier this year, but... The developers at Something We Made decided to bring the charming adventure to the Nintendo Switch sometime this fall. Keep an eye out on it. The third game I want to talk to you about is Metal Slug Tactics. That's right, guys. It's Metal Slug, but with tactics. <laughs> yeah, Metal Slug and tactics aren't generally things that go together. But anyways, guys, there's a new entry in the Metal Slug series. But this one apparently has a more tactical approach as the name kind of implies. <laughs> You're going to be battling all sorts of enemies, tanks, all sorts of, you know, baddies of all different types, and apparently you're going to be me meeting up with some familiar characters from the series and from the games in the past. So anyways, this is a turn-based strategy game, and it's exclusively for Nintendo Switch, and it's releasing in sometime in 2022. Oh no, and it's on the PC as well. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, releasing for Nintendo Switch and PC. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright guys, the fourth game is Curious Expedition 2. Yep, you might have played the first one, but in the second one, you're just going to venture into a world of wonders and danger, as we did in the first one. And uh, basically, you're going to explore locales in the 19th century. And for those of you that don't know what that means, that's basically the 1800s. Your job is to gain fame and fortune and not die. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Um, in this strategy roguelike, you're going to find yourself with a ton of fun, and you're basically going to be taking on monsters, Obtaining hidden treasures, getting that loot, getting that fame, getting that glory, and uh, overall just having a pretty good time. So keep an eye out for it. It's coming out pretty soon. The fifth and final game I want to talk about is Eastward. This was the last game shown, and uh, it's developed by Pixpill and published by Chucklefish. Yeah, Chucklefish. That's a pretty cool name for a publisher. I'm not going to lie. Um, you're going to be exploring a world, and you're going to basically... Well, it's not just a regular world. It's a apocalyptic collapsing cataclysmic world the world is ending basically and you're gonna be going into towns meeting new people yeah, meeting new creatures and fighting for survival as the world basically goes to hell behind you this game has apparently an emotional beautiful story I haven't played it so I don't know but that's what they're selling us on and it actually releases very soon on September 16th so you might want to put this one on your radar ASAP Guys, those are the top five standout indie games at the Indie World Showcase, in our opinion. Let us know what your top five are in the comments below. 